What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Tactical Pineapple, we're going to cover something that seemingly nobody fucking else is. Um, I was waiting to see kind of how things were covered, what news there was of the whole day. Um, interestingly, there's been no fucking coverage of it. So we're going to talk about the Ghislaine Maxwell trial, Ghislaine Maxwell, Ghislaine Maxwell, whatever the fuck you want to call her, Epstein's fucking cunt, that's what we're going to talk about today. So before we get into it, uh, head over to store.tacticalpineapple.com if you want to support what we do. Uh, that's where you can get our merch. You can also head over to just straight up tacticalpineapple.com. Peruse the website. Let us know what you think of that. We've got other ways that you can support us there if you don't want to just buy some merchandise. But uh, we appreciate each and every one of you doing it. So uh, that's great. Uh, if you don't want to spend any money, and I completely understand that, especially with the holiday season, all you got to do is subscribe hit the like button, comment, do all that fun stuff, share the video if you think it's informative. If not, just tell me I'm a fucking moron down in the comments. I don't care. I'll engage in conversation. I'm fucking bored. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I think at this point, every single fucking person that's watching this knows who the fuck Jeffrey Epstein is, was, whatever, whatever you want to say. Um, we all know Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. It's whether he's actually dead or alive. That's the debate, but uh, his uh, confidant, his number two, his right-hand thing, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, Ghislaine Maxwell, I know there's people who say whatever, I don't give a shit, I'm going to call her Ghislaine Maxwell, the uh, daughter of media mogul Ian Maxwell, uh, because that fucking matters anymore, I'm pretty sure she's more famous than he ever was, um, had her first day in trial. Now... Interesting. I don't know what kind of deals she's made already. I don't know what kind of help she's already done. We've seen, obviously, several instances of uh, children being found after being taken into abduction and doing all this stuff. Uh, I think it's great. I don't know if that actually came from her being in custody, but it was very interesting to see a lot of that stuff happening after her basically being arrested. So... Uh, if she is cooperating, great. I don't believe in a case where children were being harmed. Um, that grants her any sort of immunity. Um, it's just basically her reprieval uh, once she's judged after she's gone. Now, whatever you believe, it doesn't matter. I'm not getting into a religious fucking debate, so chill the fuck out. Um, the whole point of what I'm saying is that... Uh, Kid diddlers, child fuckers, and anybody who hurts a child, in my eyes, there's no such thing as a light sentence. In my opinion, it's death uh, by state or death by inmate. Um, that's, you know, kind of the old prison rule, right? So uh, anybody who harms a child is useless piece of dog shit. Um, you light them on fire and you fucking let them go. Plain and simple. I am not saying go do that. Relax, YouTube. I'm not calling anybody to harm this individual not like it would fucking happen anyways I'm pretty sure there's armed security for her a hundred percent of the time um, interestingly the only article that I could really find on the actual trial and you know whatever uh, everything going on was a Rolling Stones article and it literally says high society is on high alert as this trial goes in um, everybody's on pins and needles because nobody knows who she's going to name or what she's going to say. Um, great. Good. I'm glad high society's on fucking notice. If you were an asshole who fucking harmed a child, I swear to fucking God America is coming for you. I swear to fucking God you will not fucking survive the shit that is going to come for you. And whether it comes out of that fucking cunt's mouth or it comes out of somebody else's fucking mouth, Somebody's going to fucking squeal on you. Somebody's going to fucking talk. And you will be held liable for what you're doing. It is disgusting. It is sick. And all the shit that happened over on Epstein Island is going to come to light. Um, so 
Yeah, even for you, Bill. Even for you, Bill. So I'm sure you actually posed for a blue dress picture um, because you're a sick, twisted individual. Um, I believe it's something you probably actually did, and that's why the painting was hanging in Epstein's apartment. So um, without further ado, let's kind of talk about it. So I don't know. Somebody who is considered the right hand of somebody who is basically accused of child abduction, child sex trading, um, just being this individual who is behind this huge sex ring uh, of all these elites, um, you would think there would be more, you know, shackles like handcuffs. Uh, interestingly enough, she entered the court looking probably better than she did 10 years ago in a lot of those pictures. Um, she was wearing a, a nice turtleneck. Her hair was done really well. Um, she was dressed very well. Um, she seemed very comfortable. She had her you know, $20 bottle of water in her fucking hand, uh, joking around with her lawyers, uh, no handcuffs whatsoever. Um, and, you know, they were even just kind of chummy with her. So it was almost as though they were friendly. Um, you could actually tell that her lawyers actually kind of admire her, which, uh, number one, is either a testament to how fucking sneaky and creepy this bitch is, or number two, uh, testament to how connected and how many people actually are a part of this entire situation so um it's disgusting it's sick uh and and in the first day of the whole thing the opening arguments or opening statements because you know it's not an argument um kind of proved it so the state is literally saying and the federal government and whatever whoever's involved in prosecuting is saying that she is not only involved she was the right hand uh and she was a partner in crime to jeffrey epstein do i believe that 100 percent? i don't know um i believe people can be manipulated i believe she may have done a lot of the things that they're saying she did um and i don't believe that she gets any reprieval for that but whether or not she was 100 percent right hand i don't know um i don't know enough about it nobody's talking about it nobody wants to talk about it Um, but I will say, uh, regardless of all of that, I think that she is going to be charged with something no matter what, um, what it is, I, I don't really know. Um, I know they're charging her with child enticement, uh, enticing a minor, transportation of a minor with intent to do sexual acts, um, other things like that. And it comes down to legitimately three individuals who are going to prosecute or, or stand against her. Um, for the prosecution. Uh, The first one whose story has already actually been told is Jane, um, being kept anonymous um, for purposes. I mean, they have a right. Um, Apparently she was abducted when she was 14 years old, and there was a whole thing. Maxwell kind of prepped her for it, made it seem normal. Uh, You know, the, the weird acts that were happening and the sexual behavior and whatever, just normalized the whole thing and made it just a fucking big deal. Um basically saying that if it wasn't for Maxwell it it wouldn't have been able to go on for so long so maybe it happened maybe it didn't Um, the defense attorney is legitimately saying or the defense attorneys are are arguing the opposing side that uh, all three of these individuals who are going to come forward and testify are only doing it for the media attention they're only doing it for the fame and they're only doing it to garner a name for themselves which in the fact that the first individual (laughs) chose to remain anonymous and use the word uh, use the name jane through the trial kind of defeats that entire argument uh, at least for that person so i know high profile cases that people are going to come out of the woodwork but they vetted these people it's not that they just said well you know well there's a fucking uh you know blase ford over here she says this happened and We're just going to put her on the fucking stand. No, they vetted these people. Like, I'm sure they probably had 50 to 100 people come forward and say that they were abducted and blah, blah, blah. But they couldn't have, you know, solid corroborating evidence. There weren't dates. There weren't actual things that tied them directly to them. And so they just had to wash it and say, look, we appreciate you coming forward. If this really happened to you, we apologize. But... Uh, We're going to go forward with the people that we believe have the best case and the best chance of actually gaining uh, full and outright fucking, you know, 
charging of the prosecution. So it's a tough situation for the prosecuting attorneys, for the prosecution's office, but they have to do that from time to time. And, and, and it really does happen. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, um, the, the opening arguments or statements, they weren't really all that groundbreaking. There wasn't a whole lot there. It was just kind of like, you heard they're going to come through. They're going to talk about these stories a little bit, explain, you know, this all started between the ages of like 14 and 16 and, it was normalized, and, and it was just Lane Maxwell's fucking doing that made it possible for it to continue going on. Now, I, I'm interested to see how this is going to develop, what's going to happen going forward. If there are going to be high-profile name drops, based on the things that she's being charged with, I highly doubt it. Um, they're just going to try to rip the prosecution apart. They're going to try to tear apart the stories of the victims, uh, which... Right, rightfully so, probably shouldn't be called victims. It is the in- incident of Jane and this and that, blah, blah, blah. So I don't want to argue about that. That whole thing happened with Kyle, and it's been done. It's out there. Everybody can fucking find out why you don't use that in court, and, and, and rightfully so. Um, but end of the day, we all know Jeffrey Epstein was a fucking creep. We all know that anybody who was as close to Jeffrey Epstein is... Uh, as Ghislaine Maxwell was, uh, they're probably a fucking creep too. Um, and I don't care. Anybody who fucking flew on an Epstein plane, uh, went to Epstein Island, in my personal opinion, should be picked up, questioned, and probably prosecuted. I guarantee there's pictures of those parties on people's phones as things started happening, uh, you know, more digitally. Uh, things are out there. Um, I know there's pictures of Donald Trump, right? There's pictures of Barack Obama. There's pictures of George Bush. There's there's pictures of Bill Clinton. I'm sure there's pictures of Hillary Clinton um, because she seems like the type who'd be into little girls as well. Um, yeah, I know. I'm, I've am i got security. Don't worry. <laughs> if I die tomorrow, if, if I wake up tomorrow or if I, if I die of suicide tomorrow, just know I didn't kill myself. Um, I, I got Epstein. Anyways, um, I love my life regardless of my current situation. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as, as the coverage continues, I will update, um, that's not being televised for obvious reasons. There are some court documents that will have to come out. There'll probably be some FOIA requests that I'll have to put out to get actual information, um, which all takes time, probably will never actually come to me anyways. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm just going to report on what's reported, but I'm going to try to find good data for you guys as I usually do. Um, so uh, try to keep it unfiltered, try to keep these videos shorter to the point and not like, that's all I'm going to talk about. Um, so whatever. Um, like I said, not a lot of coverage on it at all. So I'm going to try to do the best I can with what I'm able to get. So until the next video, folks, remember, head down there, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Tell me I'm a fucking moron. You know, whatever you want. I don't give a shit. Um, It's all good. Until the next video, folks, carry your pistols. Brandon fucking hates it.